You're here right now. Maybe this is your first day learning to code, maybe you're a couple months in, or maybe it's been a few years. One thing that will stay the same, no matter the length of time, is the realization that coding is extremely difficult to learn. So today, I want to tell you why that is, and how we can ease the entire process. This is me, about a year and a half ago, not knowing what I was doing with my life. And then one day, I got this great idea to learn software development. I'll go ahead and save you most of the build-up to the idea, but let's just say I had a buddy, and his name was Tom. Tom wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed, but was somehow having amazing success in his short career in software development. And if I'm being honest, I was a bit jealous, and to sum it up I told myself that if he can do it, I can probably do it as well. And I did. It was very fun and exciting at first, until I reached a point in my learning process where I got stuck and I felt very dumb. And that's exactly when that realization kicked in. Software development is so difficult to learn. But what makes this process so hard? Are there ways we can combat this? Let's talk about it. I truly do think that anyone can learn to code. You need to have three things before you start that are almost non-negotiable. That is discipline, patience, and structure. Let's talk about discipline first, arguably the most important skill. Discipline ensures that you will keep pushing when the going gets tough. It's not to be confused with motivation. That's totally different. Motivation does not last forever, quite frankly. And discipline will ensure you keep putting in that work when you hit those sticking points. Think of it this way, when someone first starts going to the gym at the beginning of a new year, they are typically so motivated and excited to start the journey. But after a few weeks or a few months, that motivation begins to wear. The days get colder, the walks to the gym get longer, your excuses keep compounding on why you can't make it in today. Same goes for learning the code. Stay disciplined, not motivated. Next we have patience. Now why is this one so important? Patience is vital because you simply need to understand that everyone learns different skills at different rates. So you can't frustrate yourself if you're not picking things up as fast as some of your friends or classmates. Understanding that learning to code takes time, and no matter what anyone says, there is no designated amount of time to learn anything in life. Everyone is different. Some things may take you no time, and some may take you a good chunk of time. And lastly, we have structure. I know some of you may be scratching your head on this one. You're probably like, what does Aldo mean by structure? Well, let me tell you. Structure is the only one of the three I would say you can learn to code without, but its absence makes everything more difficult than it already is. I'm not saying that you need to go through a university for a computer science degree, or that you need to attend a boot camp for that matter. What I will say is that having a pre-planned route of learning and knowing what should be learned at each point in your journey will save you so much frustration over time. And that brings me to our sponsor of the day, Zero to Mastery. All right, all right, I'm just kidding. But honestly, before I started working for ZTM, I was a student of the academy. And in the most non-biased way I can say this, I truly believe ZTM has some of the best guided learning material in the world. The career paths offered, the huge community on Discord, campus events, freebies, it's just hard to beat. But those are my two cents. Regardless of how you choose to learn, just make sure you have some structure to your learning. Now that we have spoken about the skills you need to learn to code, let's actually get into what you came here for. What makes this damn thing so hard? To start, there is too much information out there. It seems like every month we have a new framework or language that is coming out that is the new craze of the tech world. And this is a huge problem because as a beginner, all of the current technologies can seem daunting as it is. And the more the new ones come out, it can definitely feel like an endless cycle that you will never be able to catch up to. Now, how do we combat this? Really, there's only one way to. Accept the fact that you will never reach a point where you know everything, and that's okay. The fact of the matter is that you don't need to know everything to land a job in tech. So learn what you should be learning at each phase in your career, and anytime you don't know something, look it up, just like all developers do. Reason number two, you're trying to memorize patterns and solutions to issues, when you should be instead understanding the logic behind it and how it all comes together. Now, how can we fix this? Patience and discipline, believe it or not. When you have points in a tutorial, course, or build where you don't understand the code, go over it again, break it down into smaller pieces, grasp one concept at a time. The big problem here is when people just memorize how they solve the issue and then move on to the next topic. Don't do this. Spend as much time as it takes understanding what is actually going on in the code. Ask yourself why your solution fixed the problem. How does it all work together? Really understand what you just wrote. Reason number three, you're overloading yourself. This again ties into the whole patience thing, but you're so excited to learn to code that it's causing you to learn in the wrong way. As in you might be trying to learn two to three languages at once, 
or learn web development, mobile development, and DevOps all at the same time. I made this mistake at the beginning and it slowed everything down for me, and not in the good way. It caused me so much confusion and delay and it could have all been avoided if I was just a bit more patient. So stop rushing, just learn one thing at a time. I'll say it again, one thing at a time. Reason number four, you're learning the wrong thing at the wrong time. Let me give you an example. Maybe you have an ambition to learn C++ as your first language. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad idea per se. C++ is a great language. But C++ has a very complex syntax, and it'll be a lot harder to grasp than starting out with a high-level language like Python or JavaScript. Or maybe you're learning a language that has nothing to do with the field you're trying to work in, simply because you do not know. Believe it or not, I've seen it happen before, and the step you need to take to avoid this mistake is having some kind of structured learning plan, like we spoke about before. And lastly, you're afraid to struggle. That's right, I said it. This was also me and just about everything I tried in the past. I wanted to be an expert overnight, and that's just not how things work. Anytime I faced some adversity in the past, I would run to the hills, and I'm not proud of it, but it's the truth. There are so many things I would quit because I couldn't face a challenge in the past. So don't be like past Aldo. Learn to love the process and before you know it, you will be on your way to becoming an expert in this field.